December greetings, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Dazzle at Bowers monthly newsletter and video clip with our guest artist today, Annie Booth. I'm Arturo Gomez. I'm from Kuvo Jazz. We are in the Bonfi Stanton studio where soon to begin 2022, we will resume our live performances here and we hope to have Annie Booth as one of our feature performers coming back to perform for us live. And Annie, so good to have you here. Thank you. You were one of our former 30 under 30 artists on our 30th anniversary year, which was in 2015. And you have proven us correct that you have been one of the 30 under 30s uh, musicians that will make a mark in Denver and in the United States jazz scene. And also, you have been recently named as one of the top 10 jazz musicians of Denver, according to the recent Westward poll. That's right. Thank you. It's an honor. And thanks for having me here to chat. And after a year layoff where you did a virtual Christmas performance. You're back to doing what you love to do and what audiences at Dazzle at Denver love to see you do, play Christmas music, in particular, the music of Peanuts and Charlie Brown. That's right. We're so excited to be back at Dazzle at Bowers this year. Like you said, we did a live stream last year, which was wonderful and actually a great way to connect with audiences outside of Denver, but we're just so happy to be in person. Again, this year for our eighth year of this engagement at Dazzle. And the stocking is going to be filled with many performances of your Christmas show. For instance, December 21st, which is a Tuesday, through Christmas Eve, which mm -hmm. is Friday the 24th, you will have 10 performances twice in the evening, and then you have two days with you'll have matinees perfect for family outings totally perfect great if you're you know finishing up some christmas shopping and you want to go take a break and, and come see some great live music the music of vince garaldi and charlie brown christmas along with some of my favorite holiday tunes that we've reimagined and so it's my trio um the annie booth trio with patrick mcdevitt on bass and alejandro castaño on drums two favorites uh, from born and raised here in denver um, and we bring a great friend of ours, an amazing vocalist named Max Wellman, who's based in Des Moines, Iowa. We bring him out each year and we're excited to bring him out again this year. He's a kind of a typical um, entertaining crooner, um, really amazing vocalist. And which are the two days for the matinees? Yeah, so that's Thursday the 23rd, um, the matinees at noon, um, and Friday the 24th on Christmas Eve at noon as well. Wow, what a wonderful way to celebrate the Christmas season. And the music will be swinging and it won't be done exactly as you've heard it in the past because as you heard Annie say, they reimagined the music in each trio and each performance each night. The songs will sound different. That's the greatness of jazz, that it never sounds the same two times in a row. and. Were you influenced by Vince Guaraldi as a pianist outside of the Christmas and holiday music he recorded? Totally. And I, you know, I think my first, in, really my first introduction to jazz was Charlie Brown Christmas. And I think for a lot of people it is. That's kind of one reason I love it so much is it's, it's stood the test of time. 1965, um, it came out. And so that was kind of my first introduction to jazz piano. And then from there, you know, um, I kind of, became familiar with Vince Guaraldi's um, other music that's outside of, of uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. And that was a nice gateway to other pianists that are kind of in a similar vein, like Dave Brubeck. And um, for me as a young person, that was really what started the, uh, the fire of, of this love for jazz for me. I've met your dad, and if I recall, wasn't he or is he a musician as well? He is, yeah. He plays bass, and that was uh, my very first gig ever, um, live mm -hmm. gig that I did was with my dad when I was 14. We uh, He got me a gig at the Starbucks oh. on the street from my house <laughs> up in Westminster. And uh, so, yeah, so that was a huge, you know, my dad's interest in jazz was also a big um, 
So you grew up listening to jazz and, totally, yeah. and and most likely listening to a lot of of Kubo jazz on the radio oh, as well. I've been listening to Kubo since I was eleven years old. Wow! Like I am a two plus decades now at this point <laughs> Kubo listener and a member, by the way. All right, even better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, for these holiday show, the Christmas shows. You may get tickets because they are rapidly selling out as they have every year. So you don't want to miss one of the 10 performances, two nightly shows, Tuesday through Friday, leading up to Christmas Eve, as well as the two uh, matinees, which are Thursday and Christmas Eve, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. And the best way to do it is to go online to Dazzle Denver dot com and outside of the Vince Guaraldi uh, songs that you will be playing what are some of your favorite Christmas songs I love Oh Christmas Tree and I do a version that gives a nod to Vince Guaraldi and his version but um, it's kind of my own thing too I love Santa Claus is coming to town so we do a swinging version of that we also do some um, you know a little bit more off the beaten path uh, songs like uh, um, I've got my love to keep me warm. I sure. love that one from White Christmas. White Christmas, we do that one as well. So yeah, you'll have to come check out the show to hear all the all the great holiday favorites that we'll perform. And looking a little bit beyond the holiday season and entering 2022, uh, are you planning possibly to record again with your trio? Or I understand you're working on a big band project as well. Yeah, I have quite a few projects I'm kind of juggling right now. I'm going into the studio um, early uh, December with my sextet, um, which features John Gunther and Greg Gisbert and Anisha Rush along with my trio. So we're going to be releasing an album in early 22, so look out for that. And I'm also finishing production of my, my large-scale work, chamber jazz work, 12 musicians. Um, called Flowers of Evil, which is a, a big project I've been working on for many years, um, setting the poetry of Charles Baudelaire to music. So um, so that's a big project ahead as well, and and maybe a, a solo piano album also. Oh my. Time. So a lot, a lot of uh, new and exciting music for 22. Well, it looks like uh, you've planted a lot of seeds during the isolation I have. of the pandemic, <laughs> yeah. and the harvest is going to come through uh, and throughout the 2022 year. So we look forward to all of your projects as well as seeing you play all around town as well. Thank you. Annie Booth, the Annie Booth Trio, again, playing holiday music, Christmas music, uh, 10 shows from Tuesday to Friday, Christmas Eve, leading up to Christmas Day at Dazzle at Bowers. Tickets available at DazzleDenver.com. Again, I'm Matuto Gomez. My guest has been Annie Booth. I hope that you continue to enjoy this monthly video and newsletter put out by Dazzle at Denver, one of the great clubs in the world. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs>